The Undercountry Music News is an excerpt of the weekly internet broadcast, Undercountry Music, which features music from great country artists you won't hear on mainstream radio, as well as a roundup of the most interesting country music news of the week without all the fluff. To listen and subscribe to the full weekly episode, please visit undercountrymusic.com or simply subscribe to the Undercountry Music Podcast on iTunes. Let's get into it. And the retail price of the car is... Well, now we got Drew Carey doing it, don't we? Yeah, you know, Drew Carey. You know, he got laser... Something that you may not know about Drew Carey. The guy got laser surgery on his eyes a while back. And those glasses he wears, he doesn't actually need them. They're prop glasses. But because they were became part of his persona... Uh, after he got the laser surgery, he could not go back. Little known fact about the Drewster there. Yep, 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 yep. The things you learn when you hang out with Neil Smith on Undercountry Music. But you know what? What I just told you is not news. But this is because it is time for the Undercountry Music News. Time for some pigs in the news. I have no idea what that meant. I'm really not reporting on pigs this week, although I might. You never know. The Undercountry Music News is the portion of the show where each and every week I go on to Google and I search for the term country music news. What a concept! So there I am, just minding my own business, searching for country music news. I take my news gun, and I shoot it at some food. And up come the surface, some bubbling country music news. From this website and that website, except there's just one problem. A lot of these websites have crap. I don't like to bring you crap. I like to bring you the news. So what I do is I sift through the crap and I find the news and I bring it to you. Interesting concept. So let's get into it. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. The stinkiest, slimiest country music news outlets that don't do their jobs that don't report the country music news, that just don't want to work. I reward those websites with a special trophy, otherwise known as the Undercountry Music News Wet Belch of the Week. Let's hope I don't have to go there, but if I do, it might sound a little something like this. No two belches are ever alike. They're, they're, they're like gassy snowflakes. Now let's get into it. Over at CMT, James Best, the actor who played Roscoe P. Coltrane on the Dukes of Hazard, although he had absolutely nothing to do with country music. But, I mean, he was on the Dukes of Hazard, so... I'm not going to not report it, but anyway, he has died at the age of 88 from complications from pneumonia. A geek, geek, geek. Roscoe P. Coltrane, God bless your journeys into the next life. Also in the Southern Obituaries, this week at CMT, founding member of Leonard Skinnerd who played drums on Sweet Home Alabama and also Freebird, Robert Burns, has been killed in a car accident where he crashed his car into both a tree and a mailbox. I'm figuring probably not in that order. Uh, he was 64 years old. Man, that, that's actually considering, you know, what a classic band Leonard Skinner is. Uh, man, 64 years old, that sounds pretty young. But... uh 
he was not wearing his seatbelt. Kids, buckle up. Rest in peace, Robert Burns. Right, we are going to sashay and toodaloo and Alamana left over to tasteofcountry.com. Aerosmith frontman Steven Tyler has signed with Big Machine Records and is apparently working on a country project. Just like every other artist who can't get traction any longer in their own genre. I must say, I don't get this. The guy is old as dust. His one solo single, Feels So Good, was a flop. And his last semi-hit with Aerosmith was about 10 years ago with the song Jaded. Uh, Maybe the song Pink. You know, I, that might have been. A, but anyway, from the album Just Push Play. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I don't just like Steven Tyler. I love Steven Tyler. But the only reason he's even halfway relevant right now is because he's been hosting American Idol. He, or one, being one of the judges, that is. Ryan Seacrest hosts American Idol. At least I think so. I don't watch that show. But anyway, he, he doesn't connect with the kids doesn't connect with any of the modern demographics who spend money on music. Uh, I mean, Aerosmith can, you know, fill a hall, but he himself, he's not a draw. I don't get the thought process behind this one, but maybe with a little luck, we'll end up with some cool new music out of it. And, uh, well, he inked this deal with Big Machine Records on Monday, April 6, 2015. And, well, we'll just see what happens, won't we? Over at CountryWeekly.com, TNT is hitting the road. Tanya Tucker, that is. She kicks off her first road trip in three years, starting April 24th in Wendover, Nevada at the Pepper Mill Concert Hall. And her tour continues through Halloween, ending in Carmel, Indiana. Catch her while you can, can, folks. Over at GAC, Great American Country, they have a list of the top country wedding songs over there. Now, that's not news. That's normally the kind of fluff BS that I like to carve through to get you the real news. But because I am a wedding DJ as my main trade and profession, it's actually what feeds my family. I was not able to resist having a look and seeing how well they did. Uh, They didn't do so well. In fact, most of the songs they listed were old news about a year or two ago. I did pipe in in the comments section and graded them, and I tried not to be too big of a douchebag about it. But you know, sometimes the douchebaggery just leaks right out. I mean, if you hadn't figured it out, this show is pretty much my my outlet for all things douchebag about me. It, It keeps me from harming others. Well, I mean, other than that, well, I mean, (laughs) not even including that, they have absolutely no country music news at all over at GAC. They almost never do, and I doubt they ever will, and I I really don't know why I pay attention to that website anymore. I just cannot belch at GAC every single week, although this week I might make an exception and bend my own rules. Let's see what I got here for them. Uh, that was a throat belch. That, that I wasn't able to get the the air into my stomach. Let me try that again here. Uh, there we go. That had the depth and breadth that GAC so rightly deserves. Moving over to the 615, which is a subsection of Billboard.com. And 615 is also the telephone area code for the greater Nashville area. I think they're overlaying a new one now. I don't know. But anyway, I have to give these guys kudos on something this week. There's been a a manufactured controversy lately, and I have not been reporting on it because it's just not real news. Uh, It's been some, you know, the press is the country music press. Rather than actually reporting stuff that's going on, they decided to manufacture a story that wasn't a story. And so, um, you know, the 615 did a story on 
people who are manufacturing this story. <laughs> and so I, I do have to applaud them a bit on this. Um, they are reporting about how the new Little Big Town song, Girl Crush, hasn't been as controversial as many country music news outlets have painted it to be. You see, many of these news outlets, air quotes, can you feel my air quotes, have been reporting that this song has been misinterpreted as a song promoting lesbianism and that it is causing controversy in the world of country music, which is completely completely false. Uh, I mean, the song is not a gay anthem. It's about a girl who's jealous of another girl who's got the guy she wants. You know, the only people who are saying that this is causing controversy are the country music news outlets themselves in an attempt to generate a controversy. Billboard at least got the correct angle on this story, which is that the only story is the news outlets creating their own story rather than doing their damn jobs and reporting any actual country music news. My hair is off to Billboard.com and the 615 this week. And apparently the 615 is on fire this week as they bring us the story nobody else had, which is that Billy Ray Cyrus has been cast as an Elvis impersonator in the TV comedy show, The Ed Bassmaster Show on CMT. Hell, even CMT wasn't reporting this one. Does it really get any better than Billy Ray Cyrus as an Elvis impersonator? I, I mean, I, I'm that's kind of been what he's been, right? No? No? I got that one wrong? I get things wrong sometimes. All right. Anyway, I'm going to kick my dust and scooch my butt over to theboot.com, which is reporting that Maddie and Tay's first full-length album, entitled Start Here, is about to drop. There's a big, long article over there I didn't bother to read, because honestly, there's really nothing else to know and nothing else to say. Two teenage girls with one huge hit single and two follow-up flops are about to release a full length, which, if it also flops, I'm going to predict is going to uh, spell the end of their 15 minutes of fame. Now, I mean, Girl in a Country Song is a cute song. It really was. I liked it. It said something. They didn't stand up for what it said. They started backtracking and go, oh, no, it's just a funny song, whatever. They they didn't, you know. I, I love it when people call out the industry and then immediately start backpedaling. But you know what? They're teenage girls. I can cut them some slack. You know, um, I got to predict that this album will be make or break for the girls because after, uh, you know, two two flops in a row, you know, let's hope for their sakes they have another, another smoking hit on this platter. Or it's going to be off to dental assistant school for somebody. Also over at the boot, they have a stream of the new Toby Keith single, 35 Mile Per Hour Town. This song speaks about how small towns are getting overrun by kids on a very bad path in life. Uh, Using a lot of hard drugs and committing a lot of crimes, basically, because... Nobody has the balls to di- to discipline their kids anymore. You know, I like this tune a lot. In fact, I think it's uh, the best thing Toby has released in a few years. Go check it out for yourself at theboot.com. That's all I got for the news. This has been your Undercountry Music That was my tribute to Steven Tyler going country. Thank you for listening to the Undercountry Music News. The Undercountry Music News is just a small excerpt of the weekly internet broadcast, Undercountry Music, where I play music and have great interviews by lesser known original country acts. Get on over to undercountrymusic.com where you can listen and subscribe. Stay under, stay country.